Reloading indeed that we are because we're playing some Dirty Bomb again. Can you imagine? This game that I have come back to once in a while made a video because I still really enjoy the game. And even though I'm not surprised that it's a good game, if that makes sense, coming back to it once in a while, I still feel every time that I really... I'm happy, I, I get happy or, or glad even when playing Dirty Bomb because I still think it's a very solid shooter in so many ways and I haven't really found any other substitute uh, when it comes to newer game that are similar to this and therefore I highly still recommend you guys if you haven't tried out the game to do so even though yes the player base is not huge uh, but there's a dedicated amount of people playing and also as I mentioned before in former videos People have been doing what they can to keep the game alive by also supporting servers so people can play, which I think is a, a beautiful thing. Yes, I became a bit worried when I got the news that the old deal when it comes to servers uh, were expiring, if we put it like that to make the story kind of short. Uh, and the bottom line is that they managed to, and when I say they, I think it's actually a combination of some people in the community, but also partly, partly some splash damage guys also that has helped to try to find these options so people can continue to play this game, even though the official support is long gone, and I mentioned that before. And I think that's really, really nice. I still support this game as much as I can by doing a video or two once in a while here on YouTube. So people that are playing the game still maybe find it amusing and, and wants to take a part of the discussion with a game that has been serving us really well for, for years now. And also to show something that some of you guys maybe not even have played. And as I said, it's still a chance to do so getting now into the year of 2023 as well. Because this game can still compete with, with a lot of games out there that has even more audience or in player base and it has also a much bigger budget than Splash Damage ever had when it comes to marketing and also making a Dirty Bomb in the first place. And talking about Splash Damage, the developers behind this game, what have they been doing? What have they been up to? I do know, and maybe you guys saw that, when it comes to a new game, a new trailer also that they announced when it comes to the Game Awards. And that is actually a Transformers game, uh, Transformers Reactivate it's called. And not gonna talk too much about it, but I thought I would mention it so you guys are, you know, you understand that they are actually still making games. And as known, it usually takes a lot of time to make a new game. And I think they have been, you know, going quite big this time uh, when it comes to a Transformers game. Uh, it's supposed to be a um, one to four player online action game uh, where Autobots are battling the greatest threat they ever faced, the Legion. So you can check out the trailer if you want to reactivate. Uh, the announced trailer is available on YouTube and so forth. Uh, let me know what you think about this. I wanted to talk about it because, um, you know, I have been speculating myself and I do wished and talked about, I think it was some time ago I made that video, uh, the hopes for it to see maybe a um, 2.0 kind of Dirty Bomb game, but I guess that's not gonna happen, unfortunately. But then again, I'm happy to see still that this game is up and running and that there was a way to find a solution when it comes to new server provider, so the game can continue. And i got to predict and say that I think this game, meaning Dirty Bomb, will continue to be able uh, to be played for many years to come if the community, if these souls of uh, engagement, I would call them, uh, still wants to take the time and make it happen, you know, so we can log in and play whenever we want to. Talking about that, do you have a hard time to find a game? When I started to record this gameplay that you're watching right now, I had a hard time to get into a game at first, but then when I did, uh, after that, I just started to get more people into the lobbies and, and full lobbies even. Uh, to play more matches and uh, so it still works fine at least from my experience even though I've seen that it's a bit easier to get more people to play with uh, in the afternoon which kind of makes sense I can understand that people come back from their work or school and everything and therefore take their time to play some it's been interesting to read your comments when it comes to my former Dirty Bomb videos because we all have of course different backgrounds as gamers but also experiences when it comes to <laughs> the hours invested in a game such as a Dirty Bomb. But it's also interesting to read about how to describe this game and what makes it special and what is the kind of thing when it comes to a game such as Dirty Bomb. I think for me it's a lot of things. I think once again the, the balance that Splash Damage 
found out or maybe they were lucky i have no idea but what they did when it comes to making a fast-paced shooter uh the gunplay together with the different mercenaries it just makes sense but i do acknowledge that it's hard to make a game successful and fun to play and a game that's going to work for a long time hopefully you know in order to make some money out of it and everything that comes with the business aspect of it i've seen it so many times also now recently uh, some games that are promising and a lot of people are talking about it maybe it gets a bit of a hype but then when it's time to deliver it really doesn't work as well as intended and I think that's a thing that Dirty Bomb has been able to avoid. It came out, it worked well, it played well, and people loved it, myself included. And that's why I'm here still in the beginning of 2023 and making a video about it. So with that said, once again, are you continuing to play some Dirty Bomb in 2023? Or have you already gone over to other games and not really been looking back in the rear mirror when it comes to Dirty Bomb? I can only answer for myself, but as you probably guessed by now, I'm still playing this game once in a while, every other month more or less, and I'm having a good time each time. And I'm still happy to see that they found a solution and that the game didn't like die for real, if that makes sense. So with that said, take care my friends and uh, thanks a lot for watching my video. And if you enjoyed, of course, a like on the video helps out here on YouTube. And if you would like to see more FPS gaming, because that's what I do on this channel, then make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out when I'm posting another video. So I wish you a great day and of course happy hunting when it comes to gaming and everything. So talk to you soon again. Later.